Good morning, live cast people. It's uh, it's Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? I think so. I think it's Wednesday. We're all off on our days. We're off on our, our game. It's Wednesday and it's early. We never generally shoot this early. That's why I'm having a little uh, espresso. Yes, you are. A little bit of good coffee is a very good thing. But it's summertime. Despite the fact that it's been cloudy. And rainy. And a little rainy in San Diego. It's definitely summertime. and certainly everywhere else, even though it doesn't look like it here. So I wanted to make uh, a salad with something that I really love to make it feel like it's summer. So I've started by cooking some bacon. And I say this all the time. You don't need to watch me cook bacon. I, I don't think. I just sliced it thin and it goes in a pan on sort of medium high heat and it's right here. So look, nice beautiful bacon. And you know what? There's a point at which it crosses over from still fatty to just crispy. And I feel like when you make just crispy bacon, like if you made a piece of it and you cut it with a knife, it would like shatter into little pieces. That's not what you want. That's not what I want. I want it to still have a fat component to it. Yeah, a little bit of softness. A little bit of softness. So I don't want it sitting in fat, so we're gonna take it out and we'll, we'll put it on a plate. And you even do this with ready bacon sometimes, don't you? No, I don't use ready bacon anymore. Really? Yeah, I'm off of it. Wow, that's a big thing because for the longest time he was yeah. all about the ready bacon. So I used to be a proponent of, of the ready bacon, which is the bacon that's, you know, like the 90% 90, 90 cooked and... But, but see, what's this? You don't get that thought. All right, 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 oh my god, oh my god. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, somebody at the door, thank you, thank you, thank you. You don't get, thank you. Thank you. You don't get, thank you. Haley. Morning, Maria. You don't get this, see that? You know what that's called? Bacon fat? Bacon fat. You don't get that when you use that other bacon. And we want to use this to flavor whatever will come after it. And whether it's mushrooms or asparagus or zucchini or whatever, you don't get the benefit of the bacon fat when you use that ready bacon. It's still bacon. Like if I had it here and I wanted to make a... Quick sandwich? A BLT. Mm -hmm. I'd be fine for that. Yes. But I don't need it, I, but, but I want... Ah. I want fat for what we're doing today. Your thinking has definitely changed. My thinking has totally changed. So, let me get rid of this because I don't need this much. Gosh. Oh, Is it possible that I don't have... Sambal? No. <laughs> Sambal, right. What I think I want? We were shooting Asian chicken tacos for the TV show. Ugh. Of which Sambal was a huge component. Ugh. And then we looked and looked and looked and we couldn't find it. Doing this thing. What? I thought I had little cherry sized tomatoes. Mm hmm. Because I looked in here and I saw this early this morning. Yeah. And it looked like I thought. Raspberries? The raspberries. I thought behind it were the cherry tomatoes. And they're not. They're just more raspberries. What the hell do I not have any? What is this? Have you do art. have previously, them. Previously been cooked. Oh, those are the big, the grilled ones. The grilled ones, right. We did those for Bed Bath & Beyond. Okay, so watch. But they're already squishy. Nice. Were you gonna cook some? I'm gonna cook them, I wanna cook them in a little bacon fat. Oh, nice. But they can happen very last minute. Have you even mentioned the main ingredient of what we're making? No. Do you want to? I, I think I will in a second. I'll give a quick flash over there and see if people can tell. No, no nobody, I don't think anybody would know what that is unless they, they're such a super fan that they've watched and they've seen. Okay, tell us on Facebook or something if you were able to guess that before we revealed it. You're not going to win anything because there's no way to verify, but <laughs> right. I still want to know. Okay, so tomatoes, right? So imagine that you've got tomatoes there, which, which we do. Uh, imagine that we've got uh, this. 
So we're still good. We've got a little bacon grease in here, right? I'm going to start to warm that up. I'm going to make a dressing first. Back up. So I'm going to make a little vinaigrette for the salad. And the little vinaigrette is going to be... Um, lemon. Let's go with lemon, okay? So we're going to go olive oil. I made an amazing lemon shallot vinaigrette the other night. So watch, you know the components for like a standard a little dressing are like two-thirds two-thirds oil uh, one-third acid and in this case I'm gonna make this a lemon like a little lemon vinaigrette oh how am I gonna do this like this watch funnel funnel Nice. Right? One more. Okay. Salt, pepper, always. And when I do this, I buy these things. You can go to any chef restaurant supply store and get these plastic bottles because they're really ideal to for making all kinds of things, but especially like a dressing. So now I'm going to give this some garlic. What the? F I like it when people put my stuff in a different place. Clove of garlic. Worcestershire. If you didn't have Worcestershire, you could use soy, no problem. And last, not least, Dijon. Really simple. No vinegar? I'm using lemon juice mm. for the acid in this. And I think I'm going to be fine. That's what it looks like there. So I've got about a third, I mean it's gone up a bit, but about a third of an acid, which could be vinegar, in this case lemon juice, could be lime juice. If you want it to go in like a more sort of Mexican-ish direction. I've got the olive oil, I've got the Dijon, the garlic, the Worcestershire. Salt the pepper. Now we taste. Oh yum. All right. That goes back on the grill. I mean the heat. Our ingredient for the salad is scallops. Yeah. Big beautiful ski sea scallops that I've dried nicely. You don't want these guys wet. It's not helpful if they're super moist. You can start with them frozen. That's completely acceptable. Let them defrost in cold water for probably a half an hour but then dry them really, really well. A wet scallop does not cook well. So now we've got, look, we've got some bacon grease in the pan. Oh. We've got like that. Butter mix of lettuce. Should be enough. We'll dress that in a second. But we want to get this hot. Right? You don't want to cook a scallop. I had a scallop in a restaurant yesterday. Maybe the worst scallop I've ever had. Really? It came to the table. They were small and I looked at it and I go, that's going to suck. And when I put my finger on it to see if it was still like medium rare, which I knew it wasn't going to be, it was like touching this. Mm. It was terrible. Here's the key. Room temperature scallop, not wet, 
super hot pan. You can eat them raw, so there's no reason to kill them all the way through. What you want to do is you want to sear them really well in the pan, that's it. And all we're going to give these is some salt and some pepper. And I always say you can't ignore seasoning all the components of this because if you end up with a bite of scallop with no salad that has seasoning on it and it's not seasoned, it's going to be it's going to be bland and that's not what you want. All right, how about we take a quick break? Yes. And then when we come back, we'll throw the scallops in the pan. Okay, perfect. See you in a second. Hey, I have a simple request. When you're done watching this, not now, when you're done, call a friend, tell them you just watched this, you liked it, they should watch. Turn people on to us. That way we can do more, better, bigger things for you. Promise. More people watch, you get more better shit at home. You get more better stuff at home. Promise. See ya. All right, so here, pan ready. Scallops go like this. You hear that? That's what you want. If you do too many, we're not going to do them all. If you do too many, you'll cool down the pan and the scallops aren't going to, scallops aren't going to be searing the way you want. In the meantime, watch what we can do. I'll show you when those are ready. We're going to dress the salad a little bit. Uh-oh. Oh, I've got like peppercorn stuck in here. Peppercorns and garlic. I hate it when that Just happens. Just a little. Off. There you go. Okay. Right. Don't overdress a salad. It's easy to do. Better to be underdressed because we're going to add a little to the to the um, scallop. We're going to drizzle a little more on the scallop when we're done. So let's get a plate. This is going to go right here. Pretty little bit. Just tomatoes already roasted, which I would do in a pan if I hadn't had them already done, which you could easily do. Now, check this out, quick, ready? See that? See that, or oh, get out. That's what you want, you want that beautiful little crust on top. If you do that on both sides in a medium hot pan, you're gonna end up with a scallop that's still moist, and a tiny bit rare in the middle, but so wonderfully delicious. Not like that piece of crap I had yesterday. Let's add a little bacon to this, Maxi. Beautiful. Ready? These guys are almost there. Almost. 30 more seconds and then those guys will come off. And here we go. Scallops are done. Look at that gorgeousness. Gorgeousness, gorgeousness. Uno, dos, tres. That's what you need. You need scallops to look like that. And then what you also need is just a little bit of this dressing on top. And then my favorite thing, a little fresh ground pepper over everything. Look how beautiful that salad is. The little tomatoes, little crispy bacon. I'm gonna add a little bit more, go ahead. The butter greens, crispy still, nice. It's fantastic. Okay, so here's the key. The key is to get some scallop. 
And here, look at, look at. Beautiful, juicy, medium rare inside. That's what you want. You don't want this thing like, like a hockey puck, which it was yesterday. So try and get a little bit of everything. We want some lettuce, we want some bacon, we want some tomato. We want some scallop. It's a big bite. Warm scallop salad with bacon, tomatoes, and a Dijon vinaigrette. And even though it's 9.20 in the morning, mm -hmm. us, this thing is the bomb. Oh my gosh. So good. And healthy. You could eat a shit ton of that and not gain a pound. And there's no bad there, right? All right, thanks for hanging out. It's a live cast. Tell your friends. We'll see you back here Friday with something new and delicious. And uh, we want you to watch it. Have a good couple of days. See ya.